looks green. Smells lemony. Hi, Lisa Keating here, and in this episode of Encino Mom, we are on a road trip, and I want to share with you a couple of little tricks and tips that um, I find really useful when you're on a road trip. And one of them, of course, is snacks in the car. So I like to pack a little snack bag, and today we have Lizetti in the front seat. And we are going to sit here together and taste a bunch of different um, snack products that have come to us. Lizzie Kay, do you have any road trip tips? One of my biggest road trip tips is to bring a nice, comfortable blanket with you because you never know if you need to step out of the car to go to a fancy restaurant or walk around the park. And so you should also have some comfortable shoes just in case you need to walk around. I actually just got some... I'll make a note of that. <laughs> That's Siri weighing in. So so one of your tips is to have a blanket with you. Comfy blanket. Okay. Another... I have two... Okay, can I just start over? Yeah, of course. I have two big road trip tips. Number one is to bring a comfortable blanket with you so that you'll be able to be warm and if you need to take a nap on your ride. And number two is to have flip-flops Preferably Vionics. Vionics support your feet so that you so that there's no strain anywhere on your foot. I used to have some knee pains which would make it difficult for me to do lunges or some jogging and stuff like that and honestly ever since I got these it hasn't put the pressure on my knees so I've been able to do lunges and exercise that you know doesn't strain my knees. There are a couple of items that I like to have handy when I'm driving, actually. One is a water spray for my face, a fine mist. Um, I usually use Avion. I use it in airplanes as well. Really helpful because, you know, the car might be heated or air conditioned, and uh, usually is, and um, can be very drying to your skin. So that's very refreshing. And also a really great lip balm. I usually like that one from Limonera that's got avocado oil in it. So those are kind of my in-cabin trips. And of course, you know, obvious things, like you still need to wear your sunblock even though you're inside the car and your sunglasses. So let's get tasting, shall we? Okay, so here's what we have. Grab some, ah! Grab some of these and let's say what we have. We have, this one's gluten-free. This is quinoa chips, sea salt quinoa chips, and traditional hummus. This is also traditional hummus with sea salt pita chips. What do you have there? I have so I have two chia boosters that you put in your water. I have cherry berry and lemonade super greens. Both are rich in omega-3 and nutrient rich. Because and of the chia seeds. Yes. And the cherry is enriched with vitamin C. So if you're low on vitamin C, there you go. And the lemonade one, Ooh. it does have super greens and organic kale. Then we have also this one, gluten-free, wild garden, traditional hummus with original multi-seed crackers. This one is also gluten-free. This one is veggie chips and hummus which I'm actually really excited for because I haven't had veggie chips in a really long time. So I'm excited to have the traditional hummus and veggie chips. Oh, and this one is roasted garlic hummus and sea salt pita chips. Mm -hmm. And what else do we have in here inside the cooler? Aha, some exo mints, some banana chips. Banana chips? Banana chips. And Ooh, and these I think, oh, so organic apple cinnamon chewy banana bites. So this is banana with apple and cinnamon and what? Coffee. 
organic Organ coffee chewy banana bites. Ooh, coffee banana. That sounds wild. And what else do we have? Oh, some more from the chia people. Some chia bites. Chocolate chunk and jerry chunk. Very cool. And oh, dessert. Coconut crunch. Yum. Premium popcorn. Okay, let's get tasting. I'm going to add this to my water and we'll see how this tastes. I've got a couple of napkins here if we need. Oh, it's turning my water pink. Oh, you know what? The chia seeds are like pulverized or something. It's not whole chia seeds. Yeah, I know. But some of them are whole. It takes a while for them to get in the water, though. From there yeah, that's why I thought it might take a while. Okay. So I've got mine in there, and then I'm going to stir it with my straw. Sort of. Yeah. Whoa. It's mine is overflowing. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for a while. The fried. Additional hummus and veggie chips. Oh, a little tasteful. Okay, it's a little different than I expected. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how are you supposed to dip? Try all great flavors. Oh, so you <laughs> squeeze it onto it. Uh huh. So the idea, I think, is so that it won't be messy. Oh, it okay. tastes good. Is your regular hummus? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Mm. Spitch me chips. If they're the same. No, no, I mean just, I want to. <laughs> this one tastes one of those. I have veggie chips. I'm not, no. Oh, I like these. So these are some organic coffee chewy banana bites. So it sounds very different than a normal banana chip. You know, usually banana chips are kind of crispy. Okay, I'll open these, the cherry ones. <laughs> Ooh, that smells good. Mm. Mm. So this bag has four bananas, one apple, Minus 80% of the water and plus cinnamon. Mine mm. has four bananas minus 80% of the water and one fourth cup of one fourth cup of coffee beans. Switch taste. And mine has zero added sugar, zero preservatives, zero cholesterol. Good source of fiber. Good source of potassium. And it seems to be started in 1981. Let me taste. What about you? The coffee banana. Yeah, I definitely appreciate it now. The coffee banana one is really good. It tastes like chocolate. How is that possible? Doesn't it taste like chocolate? It tastes like something that would be at our local coffee shop. Hmm. Recommend. Mm -hmm. I recommend that. Um, okay. So now we're back to crunchy. Chia. Cherry. I have chocolate chunk. Oh, you're getting all the chocolate. Oh, it, okay. Oh, this looks like, oh, can you open that? Mm -hmm. You can kind of see the little chunks. Mm. Mm. Got it. Very crunchy. Mm. Let me try this one. After the banana, the coffee banana, it's, I don't taste the cherry so much. The coffee banana is very strong flavor. Mm -hmm. Should we try our chia seed water? Mm-hmm. Mm. I like the chocolate. All right. And as we know from our favorite local, local healthy, well, at least my favorite local healthy restaurant, is Life Kitchen, where we learned that the chia seeds, if you see the chia seeds at the bottom, 
It does not mean that it hasn't been properly mixed. It just means that it's working. Mm. Oh boy. What's in there? Now I taste the, um, the cherry, but it tastes... Um, <laughs> I'm it, scaring me. No, I don't mean to scare you. I just, I'm, I want to know how it's sweetened, because it's sweet. Oh my gosh, what does that remind me of? All right. Yeah, how's, my, yours is very sweet. How's yours? Should I taste yours? Yeah, okay. You want me to use a straw? No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Looks green. Smells lemony. It tastes refreshing, but you made me laugh. That it tastes it tastes weird. I don't know. We would never buy this. Although really if it was gonna um, give us energy and keep us awake while we were driving, we would drink it. It'll definitely keep you awake. <laughs> Alright. Coconut mm. I like the idea. I think you're gonna need a mint. <laughs> After, oh wait, <laughs> after we have this. All right, here we go, Cosmos. This is non-GMO corn, gluten-free, no trans fats, no Premium kernels, corn. no kernels, no hulls. So Ingredients let's, let's you can open pronounce. this, baby. Oh, this is beautiful. <gasps> It smells like coconut oil or something. Oh, it's puffed like... It's just like pirate's booty, but it's sweet. Mm. It's really... It's like under the caramelization is like a pirate's booty. Like, it's delicious. So, cane sugar, non-GMO corn, coconut. So, that's where I'm smelling the coconut. Corn syrup, natural flavor, vanilla extract, sea salt. So this is definitely a treat. Mm -hmm. um, but it's different than caramel corn. Well, yeah, it's like it's puffed. That's why you can see the corn under it. Yeah, puffed corn like you said, it. like um, pirate's like booty. booty or cheese puffs, yeah. except more, um, I guess, more healthful than that. Mm -hmm. Just the right amount of coconut oil. It's like savory, but then sweet on top. Because if you took away the coating, it would be savory. So it's not like cheese puffs in that way. Right. It's savory, so that so that's how you know it's healthy, but then it's caramelized on top, so that's what makes it sweet. Mmm. I love this. I see on the back here that it says, ingredients you can pronounce, which is, I know, a big thing for my mom, because when we pick out, when I pick out something, I ask her if I can get it in the grocery store, like donuts or something, and she goes, well, let me see it. And she looks down <laughs> the box, and she goes, well, I don't know what bling bling is. I'm sorry, I can't get it for you. But it's usually more like bling 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 bling. Yeah, but here I can read it all to you. Cane sugar, non-GMO cornmeal, coconut corn syrup, butter, cream, salt, organic coconut oil, molasses, natural flavor, vanilla extract, sea salt. I mean, I'm not that good with natural flavor, but... What do you mean? Well, flavor. Oh, did you say flavor? So, I really, really liked the coffee banana chips. And what is this brand? Ban banana? Could their brand name be banana? What's the name of this company? Banana. The super potassium snack. Is, it, is that the name of it? Banana. I don't know. I really enjoyed the veggie chips and hummus. Yeah? I really did. So, I think that would make a good snack for school. Absolutely. Yeah? And at first you may be intimidated by the the squeeze the packaging, but it's really it's it's really helpful actually. I think this would be good for um, a backpack, you know, to take to school, but certainly for backpacking or um, definitely road trips. And th this is not good for the driver, the hummus, because of the squeeze pack. But if you have a passenger who can load them up for you, you can even have some of that you drive. So those are our, oh, now I think we need a mint. 
So these are um, some exo mints, peppermints. And you know what? I think that snack packs for road trips are a great idea, and I bet you do too. See ya on the road. Hey, thanks for watching. And we hope you enjoyed these road trip tips from Lizzie Kay and me, I'm Lisa Keating, for Encino Mom TV. We'll see you next time. And uh, drive safe.